Hey guys, welcome to another customization tutorial. My name is Roberto George and I'll be guiding you through this customization process. Uh, we are here with a project already opened and uh, first of all we have um, three comps here. Uh, you will render the one that um, fit your needs. This one here with 15 placeholders, 30 and 45 placeholders. Uh, they're all open here already in the project and to start with we are going to change um, the colors or see how to change uh, you probably might want to test some other uh, colors so we will open the folder named colors and then the first comp which is color one which is our main color uh, white and I'm gonna hide this one and I'm gonna create a new solid let's say red just to try it out and this is what will happen to the old composition now the change that we changed the, the main color you can do the same with color number two let's create something um, on the orange maybe And now we have red, orange, and the third color. Of course, I'm just uh, creating a solid, but you can uh, bring a texture or you can apply any other. I'm just going to put a color here. Just to show, doesn't matter if it looks good right now. This is uh, something that you want to to try with your own palette of colors. Okay, so here we are with um, the colors changed. As I said, um, you can bring a texture if you prefer, or you can apply um, other color correction effects here um, to get a different look. Okay, so let's move on. I'm gonna delete this and put it back as it is as standard. So we check the colors. Let's go straight to the photos. Once you open the folder named photos, we'll check uh, two folders, one comps and one pictures. To start, we are going with the folder named pictures, uh, where we will find our placeholders. So just right click and then select replace footage file, select your file. In this case, I'm going to use the ones that I used on the preview and the same with number two, Re right click, replace footage file, number two. And the process is a repeating process. Once you know which file uh, you are going to use for uh, each placeholder, it will be quite easy. Okay, so we have um, changed the first five placeholders and you have uh, seen that once I changed the placeholder number 05, uh, this picture appeared here. I'm gonna undo and replace footage file number five. Bam. We will check later how to change um, the picture from number five to any other uh, number that you prefer so you don't have to mess with the organization of the the comps uh, i will show you a very simple way to do that okay so five uh, pictures will be enough for the uh, for this customization tutorial now i'm going to close the pictures folder and i'm going to open the comps folder where i'm going to select from uh, photo 01 to photo 05 holding shift and double clicking so I'm gonna have my photos open here and first thing I will want to do because these are um, high resolution photos is I want to scale them down just to fit uh, the area of the placeholder I'm gonna do the same here. This will really will really depend on your uh, photo resolution. 
if the photos are smaller you might want to or might need to increase the size or adjust the photo to whichever position you you want and lastly photo number five okay so we can close these now and if we go and check our slideshow we will see that we have the first five um, already in place okay and now this one is not the number six and there's no point in doing it now it's just a, a matter of repeat the, the process that we did until now so I'm not going to waste your time and let's go to the next step where we are going to change the available text and of course you can create uh, more we will check that as well okay so we close the photos folder and we go to the animations and text where we will find our um, animations placeholders um, as I said before you have three options uh, as standard the 15 30 and 45 uh, if you are going to use the 15 placeholders you will need to uh, adjust from 0 0 until 15 but you will need also to adjust the animation final okay in this animation final um, you should uh, customize it uh, independent of which version you will uh, you will choose because the, the animation final is the, the closing of the project so no matter you are using 15, 30 or 45 you will always get this um, closing uh, for each of the, the compositions of course you can uh, delete it but um, supposing that you, you, you are not going to delete it uh, you should uh, change it so we are going to start with the first one which is our title uh, animation zero zero and in here all we have to do is um, select the font that um, that you want to use uh, and double click on the title let's say my new title okay and my new it and you could add uh, more titles I'm gonna make a copy of this and I'm gonna bring it down and I'm gonna do something here put it on middle and drag it here my Okay, so now we have another um, subtitle, my second subtitle here, and you can do this um, with, um, well, using the, the, the screen available here, um, depending on the sentences that you need to, to write. Okay, so if we go back to our main composition, we will check now that our new title and the subtitles are in place. We can close this one and we can open from number one till number five. The same process that we used um, before, holding shift, selecting all and double clicking. So in here, just double click and my title uh, is one, for example. And the subtitle is the, the same process, so no point in uh, in changing. Uh, or we will change. Okay, my new subtitle. Um, 
one thing that I would like to mention here is you'll see that uh, the fonts are in white or in black so this will depend and I use these colors of course because uh, the project is uh, or was built with uh, black and white colors only uh, to give this uh, this look so the fonts are black or white uh, but in case that you change these uh, colors here uh, there's always an option to change the fonts uh, when you are editing them uh, just select the color and choose any other color that you prefer um, but I would like to say something else which is uh, depending on the, the the color of the background of your photo you might want um, to uh, put it black or white in this case this uh, photo in particular is a bit darkish so the title goes well in white but um, let me just check if I wanted the title in uh, I'm gonna make a different let me picture number one we're gonna replace this footage as as a okay like this one maybe Let's try this one, which is the one that we have um, next. But so, just uh, the example is if I wanted my titles uh, to be here or here, probably uh, we couldn't see it well. So, uh, depending on your photo, you might want to put it to black or. Um, white and of course what I did now was just to select uh, the two the title and the subtitle and move it to the place where I wanted to to show so if I go to the main composition you'll see that my title is now over there black and with the same photo that we have on the next um, animation of course the photo is in a different size because I replaced it and didn't um, resize it in the comp of the photo okay so animation 2 same process just double click and edit it and for all of them uh, the process will be the same regarding the uh, placeholders and then lastly you will have the animation final which if you open it you will check uh, that you will have your ending that we can by the same uh, way editing so the end and my website.com okay and in here we are not seeing a picture because this place is reserved for photo 09 and let's open animation 00 as well uh, and I'm just going to replace the 09 placeholder and okay quickly adjust it S for scale and scale it down down okay so if we go to our animation final we have our picture in place uh, remember earlier that I said in the intro in the animation 00 that if you wanted to replace the photo I would show you a way and the way is this one just select a photo uh, in your comp area here and then select which photo you will want to use drag it holding alt key and just drop it on top and there you go you have your photo um, 
changed if we go to our ending now the photo is the one that we replaced so I'm gonna undo the same uh, is with the the animation intro we have the photo 05 for the background but let's say that you want 04 so just dragging alt alt and drop it on top of the photo that you want to replace and there we go so now we have a different uh, photo without messing with too much uh, of the template and in my point of view a quick uh, way to do it so I'm gonna undo and okay can close this one we can close this one let's just check um, one more detail that might be well two details uh, one of them is you might be guessing well I would like to change the animation of this the, the solid of the sliders as you want to to call it uh, where are the layers just press this um, hide layer uh, or shy and you will see that uh, all the layers are here and if you check I'm gonna press U you're gonna see the uh, keyframes for the animation so you can play around with them and make a different uh, different look uh, or not depends on what you're trying to achieve I'm gonna hide it again and the other thing I would like to show is I'm gonna press U is the animation of the photos um, you can play around with the uh, animation of course and to do so you just have to eliminate the keyframes and create new ones or create new ones on top of these whether they are of uh, uh, with a scale or any other effect that uh, suits your need and saying that I think that we are um, we are finished for now let me just recheck um, so we did the colors, the photos, uh, the text, intro and ending and we saw how to change the photos, resizing the compositions and lastly how to, well not how to but where the layers are and um, the option that you can use to to make to give a different look let's say for example here we could uh, open S for scale make a, a keyframe and go to the end and let's say that we want a picture bigger at the end so now the look is a bit different okay um, and you can apply many other effects it's just a matter of um, finding the, the needs of your project Okay, and this is it, guys. I think we covered it all. Uh, if you find any problem, if you have any question, any doubt, if you're trying to achieve something and you can't, um, drop me a line. You know where to find me. I will do the best I can um, to help you. And thanks for watching. My name is Roberto George, and bye-bye.